guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 5 to the power of 101 minus 5 to the power of 100. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n, right? And the same thing can be written vice versa. If we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this can be written as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So let's say we have 4 to the power of 3, right? And this means this can be written as 4 squared times 4 to the power of 1. Because when you multiply these two, the exponents add up and 2 plus 1 adds up to 3. So now what I'm going to do to 5 to the power of 101 is I'm going to rewrite it as 5 to the power of 100 times 5. And 5 is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1. And 100 plus 1 is 101. So now we are going to subtract this with 5 to the power of 100. And now that both of these terms have 5 to the power of 100 in them, I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of 100. So now we have 5 to the power of 100 times, now 5 to the power of 100 times 5 divided by 5 to the power of 100 is simply just 5 minus 5 to the power of 100 divided by 5 to the power of 100 is 1. So we have 5 to the power of 100 times 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is simply 4. So now we have 4 times 5 to the power of 100. And this is going to be our answer. 